yeah, get things off your back and stuff that you haven't told anyone. It was really anyone. daunting at the start. <laughs> It was really dawning, but like literally right now. Yeah, I'm when sure you've done all it, of us are just feeling when you've like, done it. It's like, yeah. oh, Ooh, no. <laughs> I, I didn't so even realize like what it was. Like, I was write about, and then yeah. when I thought about it and wrote, it, I was like, oh my god, like that is such a big part yeah. of my life. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't even it realize. I, know, I still, I kind of feel sick. Like it made me, like, I had like a really weird sensation when I was writing it all down, and it still hasn't kind of gotten away. Yeah, like yeah. as as I, I was writing it, I felt like really tight and like hard to breathe inside. But then, then once I shredded, I was like, oh. Yeah. It was kind of like a big <laughs> after, you, after you've done it, it's like that little, Like a weight. It wasn't like, it's not totally gone, because obviously you've done it, you've just come out and it still was like this weight sort of lifted off, yeah. I think it's almost like a realisation of a problem you had in your life that you didn't realise you had. Like, yeah. I didn't realise that that is like actually a problem that I need yeah. to work yeah, yeah. Like actually having to write it down and actually talk about it, I think, is what <laughs> makes it real. Because it's yeah. in your head, but if you never say it, it's... It's not real. It's not real. And to, so I think once you write it down, it actually, you realise that it's you bring it into reality. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen people write on a piece of paper, shred, and then have this sigh of relief straight after. Well, I had to look it up. To be honest, catharsis is what I found is... Uh, it's expressing oneself with the intent to heal. So, from my own experience, I just know that being able to release what something that you may have pent up inside can be quite healing. So, I have seen it uh, achieved here as well over the last week that I've been here. Um, so, if Derek and you haven't done that, it'd be something like, you know, like yeah, I remember. Dark, and he's like, look away. And he had like, 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 lots of people in the community, individuals, and um, the fact that each person can shred their own issues, but then see that their own issues are shared and that the community generally has things that they like to get rid of and repack. Um, but there has actually been a lot of positive feedback from the community and uh, the space has looked really good. And um, so I guess in that sense has been an art installation in itself, but has created some positive outcomes for a fairly broad cross-section of the community from what I understand. Uh, people have been coming into the space and thinking about um, ideas or issues that have been bothering them and writing them down and then shredding them and the idea is that that is um, taking away the weight that might have been sitting on them from those negative issues. Um, they've been asked to think about positive ideas and positive thoughts and those positive ideas have gone either onto the camera or recorded or have been written onto the walls or posted into the positives box. Um, all those words will be sort of, or have been captured and will be um, used in the next stages of the process. So the next stage will be the, um, the, the physical process of changing the shredded paper back into paper um, using uh, Kate Ford and some of the um, artists from Urava who'll come and work with the community to collect some paper. And putting all my negative thoughts and whatnot while we were shredding the paper, was letting it go and then coming here and, and making it into paper, it's just really, uh, it's, it's a kind of a serenity. It's kind of nice, it's peaceful. Paper. That's the finished paper. Wow. And the, the actual process of making paper is a real method you, you you dip into the vat and you pull out this sheet of paper and you give it a good shake and you put it all together and it's just magic it's magic every time that you do it and that's i think really amazing that this has been chosen as the way for this project to get together because it's it works it really works and then um, the paper will be printed on using some of the captured positive phrases and so jonathan larson and Benjamin Thorne and the Black Gully printmakers potentially will we'll, um, use some of the museum of printing equipment to uh, print some positive words onto paper. 
So at, when the first process was done, uh, yeah, people also wrote out positive affirmations and these are being printed and they will then be put up in the art gallery. So this is the printing process. So are you feeling positive? <laughs> Well, absolutely. I mean, this is a relief printing process, so we always have a positive image. <laughs> and it's quite a relief, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a relief. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. Um, those printed sheets of paper will be part of the installation at Nerum in November. Uh, the other components of the installation will be um, some projection that has come out of this process as well, um, some text art that will be um, produced on vinyl and um, put onto the walls and the uh, windows. And um, the text art also will go through the CBD, hopefully, the uh, Locals for Locals businesses um, take on some of the text art in their windows as a, as a lead up to and overlap with the installation at Nerum. So there'll be a, a cross community installation. phrases and positive aspirations. This was done actually at a workshop down in the Museum of Printing here. Um, so this really in a way is the final incarnation of this great project. It includes images and sounds from across the stages and it ca captures those links that people have made with this process. There's even a song available to download on the Beyond Empathy site. I used to drive past when I was driving and I used to say, what's all that? I used to say, what's all that crap in the window there? As you go past the roundabout um, diagonally opposite Centro, well, it was all, it was the shredded remains of people's negative thoughts as they would walk in. Again, something very creative that involves uh, community, uh, involves people letting go of the negative uh, and displaying very proudly the positive. I apologise. It is, it is something of enormous value. Um, you know, us Luddites of the world need to appreciate this more, but no, uh, quite seriously, uh, a job very well done. Uh, a lot of freedom. Taking the time to put it down is a um, good idea, you feel good after doing it. It was a perfect act of catharsis. This taught me to let go of my anger. I feel fantastic after Thoughts that perhaps were sitting under the surface that I wasn't necessarily consciously thinking about. Thinking, I'm concentrating on the good things. Life is what you make of it. And to let go of baggage, yeah, get rid of the baggage. Um, well, I, I thought it would be a, a, a healing thing for the mind and the emotions and I had no idea, I didn't know what I was, yeah, I, I had no idea, um, I, I was still, you know, um, in the early stage of my recovery, so, um, yeah, I didn't know, I didn't have any expectations. I just... The first, second, third day, I was never quite sure what was going to be the result, how the participants would react in the shop and then after they left. But every day you are realising this actually was making a difference to people. It felt amazing to let go of what was bothering you. Yeah. I was in um, all of the every process. Uh, we started off with the um, the shredding, the writing down the um, negative things and all the things that you hold in your heart that you know can keep you down in life. And um, then we went through after the shredding. Um, we recycled it and made new paper and then there was another process of writing um, good affirmations on that paper and then putting it in the art museum. And put those words on paper and... Shred, I shred it every day many many times. I, I was, remember being um, 
at the time quite bothered and troubled and even angry about one particular situation. And I remember I, kept, I wrote lots of papers, about eight pages, and then thankfully Jonathan hung around so I had time to finish all that and then put them through the shredder. So I achieved my goal, I'm very grateful. Yeah. After spending time in this space with people, I felt really chatty and, and it just really improved my day and so far it's really improved my week. Intense. Yeah, it was pretty intense, wasn't it? It's just like... Actually, no effects, but just thinking about what it means and what you need to get off your chest coming from someone who's had severe depression, just talking about things. So it's, a, it's just a good feeling knowing that people understand about that sort of stuff. Acknowledging negative emotions and giving them space in your life to come to peace with them, I guess. It was really nice. The combination of the, the writing it down, which was getting it all out of me, I suppose, yeah, the writing must have been the getting it out of me and so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. And the shredding, I suppose, was like the giving it over to God and leaving it with Him. As though a weight was taken off my shoulders. Um, and it was really positive for all of the students. Some, some were quite shy about writing anything or being part of it but after a little while of being there and just seeing how you know there wasn't a right and a wrong and no one was going to say you have to do it any particular way they started to write things down and they liked the shredding that was a really good thing because they felt they could write anything no one was going to check the spelling many of them relapsed on to this idea of putting in a physical state, what they wanted to let go of, what was holding them back from their journey to forward and to sobriety, and they really were able to attach to that idea of taking something physical and writing it down and then uh, pulping it and letting go. And it was very powerful for many of the clients. It's still there, I'm going to face them myself. Yeah. Accomplishing something. It's, it's really difficult to say. I mean, you know, I think I think it worked for some people. Um, perhaps not so much for others. Well, it was in a way quite euphoric. Uh, it it really felt that you you brought up an issue. I'm going to deal with this issue and try to get rid of it. So you're acknowledging that you have a problem, an issue, something like that, and woof. It goes away. There were so many people who came in and said after they'd shredded and they'd skipped down the mall. Absolutely loved it. The classes and the shredding allowed me to unload some very deep um, I observed a lot of them were very quiet afterwards. There was a stillness to them. That it had been something quite significant for them and that they were meditating on that. And I observed in the bus ride home this yeah, stillness and quietness and, and I thought wow this has been quite profound for many of our clients and I was really pleased that we brought them along and that catharsis was there to use metaphors and, and physical uh, examples of art to move people forward and that's what makes me happy for me concentrate on the victory and not the long fight I, I can see an answer coming through for the thing I was writing slash praying about, which I thought was so wonderful. Um, a, a, a significant change has occurred in the situation that was bothering me and I can see we really a solution we coming through. This shot was here forever. But it's the best thing ever. Um, I felt pretty good after I shredded. I shredded all my court papers for my last court case. I like it. Um, well, I don't know the meaning of that word. Like, shredding has made me how do I help people who live in our community with drug and alcohol problems? They also have mental health and may be at risk of homelessness issues. Uh, so catharsis was a great activity to be a part of. It just helps people to deal with the distresses they face in a practical way. It helps our clients get back into normal act community activities. They mix with the community in the catharsis event. 
um, at all, each of the different, different stages, mixing with getting more and more involved back in with the community. As a group originally, um, some of them found it so beneficial they went back on their own time and time again. Um, the few that went through the whole process, um, just a level of excitement the next stage of what are we doing now with this, oh now we're doing something positive with it. So the few that went through all the way found a, a real positive um, effect out of it. It was just like, you know, you can still look forward to, like, you can have a new, you don't have to, you can let it go and move on and then um, to see it all up here and, and stuff like that, yeah, it's just um, that it's possible, anything is possible.